Hello, my name is Mr. Cinnamon, and this will be a quick stage drawing. I will be using a felt tip pen with a ruler for this, but um, you could probably use a pencil and eraser. Uh, first, we're going to use the ruler to make a somewhat centered, or as best you can, rectangle in the back of, or centered in the paper, using the ruler. And this will serve as the backdrop, so the, the back of the stage where you will put the uh, logo of the band. I just drew the vanishing point. From the vanishing point, I'll draw lines forward from the lower corners of that backdrop and then connect those lines all the way across as straight as possible. That serves as the floor of the stage. So that's where all your band members will be playing. Then we have the height of the stage here. So I'm drawing lines down that will disappear into the audience. And then we will draw the structure uh, that holds up the speakers, the lighting effects, and other uh, miscellaneous parts that we may need. So there's uh, the two lines, parallel lines for the structure, and then going to draw the other front bar of the structure there. Let's make sure they're parallel. And then now from the top corners to the vanishing point, we'll draw outward to the structure to connect for another structural uh, beam that will hold up the backdrop. So we're assuming the backdrop is made out of some sort of canvas or cloth um, like a curtain and that you can put the logo on and it has to hang somewhere. So it's hanging from these back or these sidebars that, that would ass we assume go to the back as well. All right, you notice I left a space at the last line. There are three lines there. Uh, the, the two top two are for the side and that third one is for the bottom. And now I will connect from that so you can see the sidebars of those front beams there and connect that one. And then, of course, we have a crossbar or beam uh, that will support the lighting. And if you wanted to add laser lights or uh, other things, you can. I, I just put can lights in. And then there's the bottom. Next, I will draw some X's. And this is just a really rough drawing. I'm not going to draw the X's all throughout the bars. That would take forever, and, and you'd probably fall asleep. Uh, but I'm going to, everywhere those two little points come together, uh, you would connect those to the vanishing point, and that will give you a definite 3D illusion uh, that that bar is it's the side of the bar, and then draw connecting X lines, and drawing those little uh, horizontal connectors, and then reinforcing some of those X's. All right, so I won't go any further with the X's, maybe on the top later, but now I'm drawing the back of the lights. The lights start off as circles in the back, and if you think of the, like a coffee can shape, that's why they're called can lights, they have that coffee can shape. Uh, but I'll leave those for now and work on the audience. I'm just drawing some random arms and tops of heads with funky hair every once in a while. That's the first row of the audience, and then I will start on the drum set. There is the bass drum, and then I have some rack-mounted tom drums that would be connected to the bass drum structure. And then we'll put some floor toms in just behind the bass drum. So two of those. There's the second one on the left. And then we have a crash cymbal. I'll shade the bottom of the crash cymbal there. It has a tripod stand. And then we have a hi-hat cymbal. Provides a different sound off to the left side there. And of course, you can't forget the cowbell. There's a small cowbell right above that rack-mounted tom on the left. And then a band logo usually goes on the bass drum. And next, I will do another uh, row of audience. I'm kind of skipping around here. Just makes it interesting, for me at least. Um, so I have some random hands, random hair, more tops of heads. You can add all kinds of funny hats or whatever. People, you know, crowd surfing. Um, and then you can have, you know, there's a person with a camera. You can have people with little lighters or whatever you want to do to to make the audience look like they're really having a good time or going crazy. All right, so three rows, audience. I could go back and shade those later, but I won't. It's just a quick pen drawing. Uh, now I'm going to just reinforce some of those drawings of the components of the drum and draw the drummer's head and hand. And I like to draw multiple hands and crash, uh, like, comic-y looking explosions. Like the drummer is just going crazy on drums, so you see multiple hands, like when you take a photo and it's in motion. Um, and then also drawing the path to each hand. And it's hard to see in this video, but uh, there's a circle, serv several circles connected by um, like wind lines. So it looks like the drummer's going fast. Now we lost footage here. I, my camera messed up. So I drew the bassist on the right there. That's under my hand. And now I'm going to focus on the lead singer. And I like to draw the lead singer really intense, just like the drummer. So in this case, the lead singer will be um, on hands and knees. 
screaming into the microphone. So I'm drawing the microphone and the arm, and then now the singer's back, and then his knees tucked under his body, and then his other arm bracing himself on the stage. So the singer is uh, really intense. All right, uh, now I will draw a keyboardist. So this is just an interesting band. It has a bassist, a keyboardist, a drummer, and a singer. But hey, it might work. Uh, so we have the keyboard connecting to the vanishing point. You see all those three lines there I drew across there, and I have some support uh, bars for the keyboard stand. And you notice there are four circles. And I'm going to use my ruler now to uh, connect the bottom of the, of the stand or the rack to the vanishing point again. So those two parallel lines represent the bars that hold up the keyboard at waist level for the player. And then we'll do uh, two crossbars, which is how keyboard stands look. And then, of course, uh, the keys on the keyboard. So a series of little lines that go toward the vanishing point. And then the keyboardist will have the head and then the hands. And that'll tell me the posture of the body. So we can have like kind of a, they're intensely looking down at the, at the keys they're playing. And then there's some feet behind there and pants that we're drawing between the bars. All right, next, uh, we have to have monitors. Monitors are speakers that provide feedback to the band. So if the singer is singing out of tune, this, the speakers, the monitors face toward the band and let the speaker and the, and the uh, or let the, uh, the singer and the band members know how they sound. Sometimes in an arena or in a concert hall, it's, it's pretty loud. So those help the band uh, play in tune. Okay, now the fun part, uh, the lights. I'm going to decide on which light faces what uh, member of the band. So in this case, the basis will be illuminated by that light. I like to make the lights cross. It just makes it more interesting when, you come, when it gets to coloring. And in my other video that I will post soon, uh, I have a more detailed explanation and, and a video on how to color the lights and, and make it fun. So uh, we just drew the, or just drew the uh, lights to the drummer. Now the lead singer will get a light there. So you can see how the beams of the light is cross, are, are crossing. And then the bassist gets another light right above. So a lot of uh, these uh, conical shaped light paths that are cr uh, crisscrossing over the stage. All right, the singer gets another light because they're the lead singer. They usually get most of the attention or the front man in a band. Okay, now I'm adding some structural uh, components that hold the lights to the, to the cross beam. And then a couple more lights. This light is going toward the drummer, so the drummer will get two lights. And then the keyboardist off to the side will get a light as well. So light starts off narrow and then widens out uh, to encompass uh, the target. Okay, next we'll add some speakers. And the speakers, in this case, are mounted high on the, the structure. And you can draw the little woofer and the tweeter. Um, and then we can draw the structure back to the vanishing point. There's the side of it. I shaded that in. And then another speaker on the left side. Now these are, for this band to be, be so intense and only have two speakers, it's a great disservice. Usually there'd be a stack uh, of speakers, but just because of time, I am just showing you how to draw a couple. So there are the two speakers, and going to draw some pyrotechnics, some sparks in the background. So there's some shooting up flames that are uh, flanking the drummer. And what's nice, it's cool about, a, a, fun about drawing a band is you can get pretty crazy and, and confusing with everything. And then when you start coloring it, it should look like some organized chaos because it should be visually interesting as well as musically. So giving the people, the audience, a interesting experience. All right, so uh, just a couple more little details on the crossbeam just to remind the viewers that this is a very strong structure. And then drawing a couple lines from the bottom. And you may not see this in the video. I can barely see it on, on this version here. Uh, just a couple lines leading toward the vanishing point to show uh, some depth. And that 
is pretty much it. So thanks for watching.